Welcome! This episode shows you how to easily clean and efficiently winterize your outdoor fountain. For this effort you'll need the following equipment and supplies. A powerful gasoline or electric blower, a fountain cover, and if you're in need of a cover please see my cover recommendations in my video description below for links directly to some good covers with competitive prices. You also need some liquid cleaner and paper towels or a rag, a clothesline rope or heavy duty cord, a cutting device for the rope such as a razor knife or scissors, and a garden hose or nozzle which I'll show later. I also recommend that you remove your timer and place it in a plastic bag similar to this one. Approximately five years ago I started removing my fountain timer and storing it in a plastic bag. I noticed that hundreds of ants were living in it during the winter. If I forgot to clean them out in the spring, they would have caused an electrical short in the timer and ruined its circuitry. Consequently, I now remove the timer and store it in my basement over the winter. Step 1 is to disconnect your electric power and remove your timer as I mentioned before. Next, clean out all the contaminated and dirty water with either a powerful electric leaf blower or a gasoline blower. We then gain access to the motor compartment, which you can see is still very dirty. There's a lot of dirt and grime in there, so let's clean it out. And then blow it out again. and then replace the, the cover to the motor compartment. The next step is to lay out our fountain cover, which my wife purchased from Amazon. It's about six feet across and almost 60 inches or five feet high, so it's a pretty good size. We've used it in the winter for about five years now and it's still in good shape and works great. If you're interested in a similar cover for your fountain, I have provided some links in the description of this video below for your convenience to some good covers similar to this one with competitive prices on Amazon.com. So at this time, I'm going to place the cover over the fountain itself. So basically you just carry it over to the fountain. And the idea is to center it on the fountain. Okay, so after deploying the cover over the fountain, next step is to wrap a retainer rope around the bottom circumference of it and tie it off. And I have mine secured with a with a loop here so I can I can pull this tot really tight if I want to and wrap it around another time. A second time. Like so. So you can see I, I have this pretty tight. The idea is to keep ants and bugs from crawling in. And then just simply tie it off. Tie it off with either a knot. or a bow, whatever you want. I'll just go ahead and 
picture with a knot and gather this up so it's not too unsightly. And we've completed our, uh, our winterization. This concludes this episode on how to easily clean and efficiently winterize your outdoor fountain. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time I'm moving on to my next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. All of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.